Hi guys, I just up updated, uploaded the last vlog and realized that all it was was me sitting here talking. So I'm going to try to not do that as much this week. But um, there is like this smell of garbage or something in the kitchen that I cannot figure out what it is. It's like rotting food somewhere. That's what it smells like anyway. I cleaned out the refrigerator. I like washed out the trash can itself thinking it was that. I disinfected the garbage disposal. I don't know where it's coming from and it's driving me nuts because every time I'm like downstairs and I come up the stairs I can smell it and I don't know what it is. It's driving me friggin nuts. I thought maybe I had like potatoes rotting somewhere because sometimes if you have potatoes that you forget about it can smell like that. It's not that. I have no idea what it is. I thought it was in the refrigerator at first, because that seemed like it was where it was coming from. It was not that. I freaking cleaned out the fridge, there's nothing in there that would stink. I don't know what it is, it's driving me insane. I told Steven, I was like, I'm glad we're leaving, because I don't want to deal with it, figuring out what that is. I hope there's not like a dead animal in the attic or something, because remember I heard the, like, the scraping up there, and there was definitely a squirrel or something up there. I don't know. All I know is... I don't want to know what it is. <laughs> Maybe it'll go away on its own. But, uh, I've just basically today been prepping stuff because I have so many eyeshadows to make for the sale. And, like, I, I started making some already because I wanted to get knock all the Etsy orders out of the way. And then I put the Etsy shop on vacation mode because I was like, I can't deal with orders coming in from that right now too when I have so many to do from my site but it was a very successful sale so the the end result these are just the Etsy orders I haven't done yet and then all of this is from my site it's like a friggin ream of paper here <laughs> it's so heavy um I just uh, I'm super happy. I just hope that people don't get mad that it's gonna take so long. Like, I've been putting, like, messages on my Instagram and my Facebook page and the shop itself, like, even has a pop-up that says orders are taking longer than usual and it's gonna take, like, two to three weeks. But, I mean, I've done it not to this capacity before, but I've had a few big sales like this and I've gotten through it in a quicker amount of time than I thought I was going to, so I just have to stay positive and keep my confidence up, but it's like leaving me no time for anything else, because like, today I'm like, I don't even have a time to freaking cook anything or whatever, like I made us lunch and then I'm like, I'm just gonna order dinner from somewhere tonight because I don't feel like cooking. I have my little fan on over here, so I hope that's not too loud. I'll shut it off for the time being. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think it's Thursday. We have this IEP meeting with, like, the whole, his teacher, the speech therapist, the occupational therapist, the school psychologist. They do that every year. It's usually in April, so I don't know why we're doing it right now, but I guess it's because of us being fully remote. Um, and that's when we're gonna tell them that we're moving, because we're gonna have all of them in one spot. <laughs> so it's just gonna be like, yeah, we don't really wanna give you this news, but we're gonna be moving soon, so. And I've tried to look into the school that he's gonna be going to up there, and it's making me kind of nervous because it, there's only one special education teacher in that school. But it's also, like, I have to think of it as it's a very small town and there's not a ton of kids that go there, so I have to look at it that way, too. Like, his school now has, I think, four or five special education teachers, but they also have, like, the, the paraprofessionals in the class, too, helping out. So I don't know how this one's going to be, but <sighs> I'm also fairly certain that they're not doing fully remote learning up there, so have to figure it out because I don't I don't want to homeschool him because I feel like I can't do as good a job as they can I don't know but like with this whole pandemic thing I've been leaning toward homeschooling more so I, I don't know what we're gonna do but <laughs> you get your scarf again yeah 
tablet. You want you? <laughs> okay, I will get your tablet when when I'm done. Okay. I told him that yesterday when he asked me, and I, I was like, I'll get it in a minute, because I was in the middle of doing something, and then it was like two hours later, and he asked me again, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot. Um, but yeah, it's just, that's going to be something that I have to decide on, because, I don't know, like, I wouldn't do it, I'm not talking about homeschooling him for, like, the rest of his school uh, school career, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I'm just talking about doing it until, like, people have all gotten the vaccine and this friggin' thing has chilled out. Because <sighs> if we go up there and they give us the option to be fully remote like his school did here, then fine, we'll just continue with that, and that's something I'll ask them about, but if they say no, then I don't know. Do I send him to school, or do I just friggin' homeschool him? Because if I do that, then I have to, like, come up with the curriculum and stuff, so... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of what-ifs right now, so... We'll figure it out. I'll keep you guys in the loop with that, with what we decide to do, but... For now... Uh... Steven's got to do something about the uh getting the now our jeep needs the inspection sticker because that the due date for that was december and he didn't take it to go get that done so we need a sticker for the jeep and the white car and i want to get the oil changed on both of them because we have to drive them both up there so I, I'm, I know the Jeep needs an oil change, I don't think the car needs one yet, but it's better to just do it all in one shot and get them done. I kind of, I think I'm going to have my uncle do the Jeep because it's so much cheaper. When, whenever we take the Jeep to have the oil change, it's like $93 or something like that, and there's n no reason that they should charge me that much for that, because I know how much it, the oil and shit costs, because I have my, I've had my uncle do it several times, but um they put like this super fancy oil in it because it's a newer newer vehicle and like my uncle was a mechanic and still messes with cars and fixes people's cars all the time and he's like they they just do that so they can overcharge you like you do not need that specific oil it's no better than than this one that you get so uh, i don't know look how big my new trays are i'm so excited these were the biggest ones that i was using before and they're like twice the size, a little bit bigger than twice the size. So I have a whole bunch of space to lay eyeshadows out to uh, dry now. It hardly fits on my desk. I feel like I'm about to perform surgery or something with <laughs> the, metal, the metal tray. But uh, the rack didn't come. So the trays came separate from the rack. Now the rack's not supposed to be here till Friday. But at least I have these, like I can lay them all out. I can probably fit like 200 and something on this one tray, because those hold like 114. So maybe I can get up to 250 on this one and that will save me a lot of space in here. But today is eyeshadow pouring day. Today is Tuesday. I was hoping to start yesterday, but a lot of my stuff didn't get here. So this is what I'm doing today. You guys know I don't talk about hair stuff a lot because usually when I find something hair related it doesn't always work the greatest for me because my hair is ridiculous. But I got this uh, Revlon brush dryer. I don't remember what the exact name of this is. But it's kind of on the same idea as those straightening brushes. The ones that are supposed to straighten your hair in like one step brush and straighten. And I had one of those, I've had two of those actually, and neither of them worked for me. So this is just, it's a hair dryer, because it's got the fan and everything on there, that just has a brush on the end. So I just used this, just this, and it's going to cut down my straightening time so much, because like, obviously my hair is not perfectly straight, um, but like, it dried it super fast and got most of the wave out, so it's going to, I'm going to be able to straighten my hair like that. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with this. It is louder than my uh, regular hair dryer. The controls are down here. There's high, low, and, co and cool. That's 
low or high. So it is pretty loud, but it works. Like this part gets really hot, so you can't touch that because that's basically like touching the head of your hair dryer, blow dryer, whatever. But it came in black and pink, so naturally I got the pink one. And because it was made by Revlon, my favorite straightener ever is my Revlon one. My like $30 Revlon straightener. I think this was $39.99. I got it from Ulta. They still have it in stock. Um, I had an Ulta gift card from Christmas that I wanted to use, so I bought this with it. And I'm very happy with it so far. Like, dried my hair faster than my normal hair dryer does, and now I don't have to worry about having to straighten it for 40 minutes because all the wave is already out of it, pretty much. But I'm excited about that. So I'm going to go straighten my hair now, and I'm guessing it's going to take a lot less time than it usually does. Look at my hair! I just did my makeup because I just woke up and we have to do uh, Aiden's IEP meeting today. Virtually, of course, but uh, I straightened my hair last night. I showed you guys I used that new Revlon hair dryer brush thing first, and it took me like eight minutes maybe to straighten my hair. I just had to run it through quick, and it was awesome, so I do like that thing. Um, last night, I was so busy yesterday pouring eyeshadows all day, I didn't feel like making dinner. So I asked Aiden what he wanted because I was going to get DoorDash, and he said Burger King. So this was the most hectic DoorDash order I've ever made, and I felt so bad for the girl. She must have just started and like not been too familiar with it, but also, it usually, if we get Burger King through DoorDash, it will send them to... Couldn't send message. Um... If we get Burger King through DoorDash, it usually sends them to the Burger King that's downtown, which is like five minutes away from us, which is lazy of me. I could have just gone and picked it up myself, but it usually sends them to the same store every time. Now my eyes are watering. Same restaurant, I mean. And she texted me and was like, I'm sorry I'm running late. DoorDash sent me to the wrong Burger King location they sent me somewhere on the highway and I was like it. okay <laughs> it was weird to me had it. yeah we had Burger King last night right? right so she texted me a few minutes later again and was like you got it from this one right saying our town name and I said yeah that's the one it usually it always sends everybody to so she went to that one downtown and said the order wasn't there, and I was like, that's weird, because they, they always send it, send the DoorDash drivers to that restaurant. So I looked on my account, and like, you know how it shows the map to show you where the restaurant is and where your house is? Like, I never really look at that, I just place the order and that's that. It had her going to the one on the highway, which is like, a little bit further away. And I was like, for some reason it's, it's saying t that it's sending you to that one, so that's why, like, the first time it told you it was halfway up the highway. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry this happened. Do you still want me to go pick it up? And by that time, we were all starving, so I was like, if you don't mind, please. So she had to go all the way to that, back to that one. And then I gave her, like, a $20 tip, because I felt so bad that she was driving all around the place. Ugh. Hey guys, it is Friday night, actually, so I figured I would end the vlog for the week. I know I said I was going to make it so that I wasn't just talking throughout the whole thing, but that's what it ended up being, so... I got a really cute phone case for my phone and I can't show it to you because that's what I'm recording on. But, uh, really not a ton to update on this week. Sorry, I'm like in the middle of making stuff, so I'm trying to get these gloves on. Um, we had Aiden's IEP meeting yesterday, and it lasted way longer than it usually does, I think because we had it online and everybody was talking and everything, but um, we didn't end up telling them that we're going to be moving because neither one of us wanted to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because they were talking about like all the stuff that they're gonna do with him and everything and 
his mate, his special ed teacher, like I told you guys, I just definitely get the vibe from her that she's sick of the computer aspect of it because you can just tell that she's annoyed that she has to set up the, the online stuff for him every day when he's when he logs in and everything and setting up the camera in the classroom and everything. Um, so she's like basically trying to pawn him off on the regular uh, like neurotypical second grade teacher. So they're having him join her join in on her class for as if he was just like a regular neurotypical second grader I guess because um, the way that that class does it is cohort A and cohort B so half the kids go to school for like Monday Tuesday Wednesday how are they doing it I wrote it down so that I could understand yeah so he's gonna be like a cohort B kid so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is all the online work, and then Thursday and Friday is the in-person work, but since he's fully remote, he's going to like log into their classroom on those two days. And that's how they're setting it up, but he's gonna have like more work that's at the second grade level, because to be honest, the stuff that the special ed teacher posts is very like, not all of it, but most of it is very like, super easy stuff for him like there's a lot of craft stuff and like cutting out and pasting things and like preschool stuff and he's definitely higher uh, skill level with math and stuff than what she's posting so I mean it'll be good for him in a sense but it's just like how much interaction is he gonna have with the special ed class now I don't know but like it doesn't really matter that much anyway because we're moving and I don't know what this new school is going to do so it's just just going to be a matter of uh, adjusting I guess but I'm sure next week is going to be hectic because now I'm going to get used to all the new times and everything of logging on like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays. I don't know if she still wants us to do the normal stuff that we do in her class. I, uh, I'm just so confused now because <laughs> she called me today to explain it to me and I was like, okay, I wrote everything down, but I just forgot to ask her that. So I'll have to email her like, do you still want us to do the, the morning meetings with you guys on Mondays? And I, I don't know. more stress to add to my plate lately. I have my rack came, can you see it? My rack with my, um, what do you call it? The trays came the other day and then the rack came and Steven put it together for me. So I bought three trays for now, but it holds 10, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it holds 10. So I'm gonna slowly buy more of them. Um, I don't even want to picture that with 10 trays because having to fill up three full trays of these has been a job and a half. I'm finally like coming down to the last, I'm on the last tray now, although I'm probably going to fill that one up and still need more of my old trays. Um, but. I can't imagine having to make 10 of them and I feel like it's gonna get there eventually because every time I have a sale it's been going so much uh, farther than the last one but I just wanted to check in and say goodbye for this week um, and then I'll see you guys next week I guess I really have I have nothing exciting to update on because all the house stuff is taking so long. Like I wasn't expecting it to be really fast anyway, but that little glitch that the the mortgage broker did when he finally talked to Steven, uh, which again, yesterday he had called him for a minute and said he was gonna call back in 30 minutes, never did. He texted him today and asked what's a good time to talk. And like, it's 5 p.m. now, Steven said anytime today and he hasn't called yet. It's just, they're really slow. 
from getting back to us and the real estate agent keeps texting like is there any updates because he wants to finish this up and I just feel like the mortgage people aren't putting us as high a priority as someone who is buying like a friggin $400,000 house or something so that's why we're so low on the list and nobody really cares but uh, that's just how I feel anyway this hasn't been the, the greatest experience so far but they'll get there eventually I guess because I mean they still have the closing date set as February 10th so today is January 8th so about a month from now this should be all over with <sighs> that's what I'm hoping for um I found a cookie recipe that I want to make cotton candy cookies they just looked super cute I'm gonna try to make those. I have everything to make them with except for buttermilk. That's not something I normally have, so I gotta get that with the groceries this week, but I'm gonna try and make those when I have some time. I need to fully focus on this because I need to... It's been a week since the sale and I'm still not done making these friggin' eyeshadows yet. So I'm gonna finish this up for the night so I can go relax and I'll talk to you guys next week.